Crystal's mine this time. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to wake you up. You don't have to fight about this. Crush this crystal. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but everywhere I go, I see them too. Work, the corner store, in the park. They're tracking us. Marco was really freaked out. Wonder if whoever was following him is still out there. Fireworks? Better warn those guys they're illegal here without a permit before someone calls the cops on them. What? They want to blow up a gas truck? Okay, y'all are done, Spider Man! Yeah. The world will be yeah. blessed with your filth! Guys, I felt like they came out of a cult. Better tell Pete about them. Woo, yeah! Woo! Hey, do either one of you guys have a permit for those? but I'll get him to a hospital. I knew those fireworks look shady. Is he gonna be okay? I think so. Looks like he's just unconscious, but I'm not taking any chances. Ah, uh, where am I? Spider-Man? Don't worry, I'm taking you to a hospital. Also, for obvious reasons, I gotta tell you personal fireworks are illegal in New York. Uh, but we didn't know. There for our brother, Lex. We, we lost him a few years ago, and he always loved them. So we try to launch a few around his birthday. Oh man, I'm sorry. Spider-Man. Wow. There. The staff here is great. They'll take good care of you. Thanks. Actually, wait. If those fireworks we bought were sketchy, maybe you should check where we got them from. Some docks north of us between those two bridges. I think I know which place you mean. I'll take a look. Hey, just dropped Mike off. He thought I should check where y'all bought your fireworks from, too. The dock guys? 
That's a good call. But watch out. I know I saw two of them with guns. Like serious guns. I'll be careful. Thanks. Bro, watch it next to that barrel. We can't make any money if our stock blows up. You want to do this? Get back to checking the guns and let me work my magic. Fireworks! They're lit! Uh, the river! I can chuck them! Wait! Can we two more? Okay! Last crate! Nice! Wow! Really nice! Happy birthday, Lex! Was that you? Oh, man! I hope Mike saw that from the hospital. Lex would have loved it. Hope y'all enjoy your time in New York. Stay safe. Another disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authorities and completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known about this new collective, other than their pension for animal skins. But one thing is abundantly clear. The Spider-Man did nothing to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their jobs, these criminals wouldn't be in the wind, Michael. 
Looks like we have an eyewitness calling in. Color, you're live. Hi, Jonah. Thanks for having me. Just want to point out that what you're saying is a total lie. Here we go. I was there on the pier. Law enforcement was completely outmatched. The Spider-Men saved countless lives and almost stopped those bow and arrow geeks, too. First, you're lucky to be alive. Second, let me ask you, just this week alone, can you guess how much property damage those vigilantes are responsible for? No, but that's not the issue here. I don't have time to get into a circuitous whataboutism argument when there are costumed criminals reducing our city to rubble on a daily basis. Think of all the shipping delays we're gonna face because of this. When you can't shave because your favorite cream is trapped in shipping hell, make sure you thank the Spider-Man. Time for the bureaucrats to do their job. We need action. And also, a word from our sponsors. that fast. Who's the spider? Move it! <laughs> All in a day's work for Spider-Man. to put out. Everyone's safe inside, and the fire department can take over. We're good.
trouble for a little crystal. So I tell the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. No one has seen Marco in years. I would have been there for him if I knew he was in trouble. Hey, I was just talking to my source at the raft. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there. But they said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Whatever you're doing with those crystals, keep it up. Sometimes, I worry with all the terrible things that happen in our city. People will be afraid to leave their homes, live their lives. But not today. broken into.